Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today we are gonna talk all about the new Sicily foundation. I showed you guys this in a haul video just on Monday and we are gonna talk about it today. It's the new Sicily anti-aging foundation. So I've been using this now for the past week. So today we are gonna do a close up look at it. I'm gonna give you guys a few details about it and then you guys can decide whether or not you think it is worth the 170 big ones. All right, so let's get into this guy right here. So for that $170, you get one fluid ounce of foundation. It does come in a pump bottle. The bottle is glass. It is very luxurious. Definitely very nice packaging. But for the price, let's talk about what's in this foundation. So not only are you getting a beautiful foundation, you're also getting a bunch of good anti-aging ingredients as well. There are collagen stimulating peptides in here. There are a bunch of antioxidants as well as some good hydrating properties and ingredients as well. Now, this is not going to take the place of any of my skincare products. You know that. But what you're putting on your skin is something that's going to benefit your skin while you're wearing it. You know, foundation is what you put on your face, all over your face, and you're wearing it all day long. So it's something that's sitting on your skin for a good length of time. So for me, I was very intrigued to this because I would rather put something on my face makeup wise that is going to benefit my skin and not harm my skin. You know, most foundations have no benefits to them whatsoever and they are just full of chemicals and preservatives and just things that are going to actually harm and age your skin the more you wear them. So I'm always very drawn to new foundations and makeup products that have, you know, benefiting skincare ingredients in them. And that is what this one does. They also claim that this is a very skin-like foundation and that you're going to get eight hours at least of coverage, which it definitely is. Definitely completely skin-like. I mean, you don't see it. You don't feel it. It is on my skin now. I've been wearing it now for a good part of the day. I'm just filming the intro now and you just don't feel it or see it on your skin. So I absolutely love that. It just looks like your skin and you do definitely get a good long wear time out of this foundation. Every time I've worn this foundation now, it has not broke down on my skin throughout the day. It stays put. I barely have to touch up and it just looks flawless all day. So definitely long wearing like it claims. And I would say that the finish of this foundation is very natural. It is not matte. It's not one of those foundations that sucks the moisture out of your skin. Again, there are hydrating properties in this foundation, but it's not very, like it's not overly dewy. It's not very luminous. It's very natural. I wouldn't say it's made for oily skin. I wouldn't say it's made for dry skin. I think it definitely would be good for all skin types. I mean, I have some dry patches going on my skin right now. My T-zone gets oily though. And for me, it looks flawless all over like all day long. It doesn't accentuate those dry patches yet even throughout the day the t-zone area doesn't even get that oily. So it's definitely I would say good for all skin types. The only thing is with this foundation there are only eight different shades and they range anywhere from more fair to I'd say like a tan complexion. So if you are a darker skin tone they do not have any foundation shades to match yet. Hopefully they come out with more shades though. Sometimes like brands will do that. They will kind of release a few shades to begin with and then once it becomes like a hit or something then they'll release more shades. But for now, there are eight different shade options. This is in the shade 2B, which is linen. And this is a really good match if you are like a MAC NC, like 25 to 30, I would say. That is what I have on right now. I am not really self tanning right now. And this matches me absolutely perfect. So let's get started. Let's zoom on in here. And then throughout the day, I will check back in with you guys. So let's get started. Let me show you this foundation. All right, guys, let's get started. I got my Sicily foundation here. But first, we're going to start with the Bye Bye Pores Primer. I am loving this primer, you guys. Guys, you guys have to try this one. It's so good. It's just lightweight on the skin and pores are gone. So loving this. We're going to use this one today. Um, I have my eyes done already, which is like really funny. I never do my eyes first, but I felt like getting that out of the way today. So my eyes are done already, but doesn't that look so funny when you do your eyes and then you don't have like your eyebrows done, like especially my brows. So let's get started. I'm going to take a little pump of this primer and you can see it's quite liquidy. So I'm just going to kind of tap it on both fingers and then just apply it. Pretty much just down the T-zone is where I apply primer. I have used this foundation without any primer and then with primers and it holds up perfectly even without a primer, on me at least. But I am using a primer today and look at that. Like, can you tell the difference on camera? Like how that just makes your skin, it just gives you a flawless base. I love it. And I have this tiny little pimple here that's been here for like two weeks and it's like, I kind of picked at it, which is so bad. So now it's like taking even longer to go away. Now it's like a little crusty, like little scab that I just like have to let alone, but it's so annoying me. Anyway, so we got the primer on. Let's pick up the Sicily foundation. Again, this is in the shade 2B linen. And I'm going to take a pump of this. And I'm just gonna kind of dab it 
where I want to just like start blending it in. Now this is a buildable foundation, so you can kind of start out light and then you can like work your way up more. So I'm gonna take my It Cosmetics brush. I love this one for foundation. I haven't used a brush forever because I usually have been using my cream foundation with my beauty blender, but this is still just one of my absolute favorite brushes for a liquid foundation. This foundation is just so silky, like butter on the skin. It's just very lightweight. You don't feel it on the skin at all. It's not heavy at all, which as you guys know, if you're familiar with what I love in a foundation, it has to be lightweight and I just don't want to feel it. I don't want to see it. And that is exactly what this does. I'm going to bring it down to my neck a little bit here. Just blend it all in. All right, so that's the foundation on my skin right now. That is just one light application. Now, if I wanted to, like I said, I could build it up and do, you know, layer it up a little bit where I want to, but I like to keep my foundation very light, like very minimal on my skin. So, I mean, you can see it covers beautifully with just that light application, and I think it looks great. Like, you really don't see it. It looks like skin, and it just blends and just, like, feels like nothing. So, I love that, and I'm gonna go do the rest of my brows, which are desperately needed, and the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. All right, I am back. I am ready for the day now. I got everything put together. This is the final look for the day and you can see how the foundation looks with, you know, everything else put together and I think it looks absolutely stunning on the skin. Like you honestly don't see it. You don't feel it. It is so lightweight. You really just, you feel like you have nothing on your face, which is so good. I just love that. And it also doesn't leave like a tacky feeling or that feeling when you know when your makeup doesn't feel like it's quite set. Like it feels like it's set. You don't feel it and you know it's not going anywhere. And it's also very smooth to the skin. When you look in the mirror, you kind of notice that your face just has like just a very smooth, very kind of like airbrushed look to it. It's really pretty. So I will check back in with you guys though one more time, probably tonight, like this evening before I wash off my makeup for the night. I have a super busy day today, so I don't really have time to be checking in and out here, but I will check in with you guys tonight. And that way you'll see like throughout the whole day here, how my makeup looks throughout the entire day before I wash my face tonight. So you guys will get a good look at that. And I can tell you right now, it's going to look just flawless. I know it because like I said, I've been wearing it now and I just, I'm amazed by it. It's amazing. So I will see you guys then. I will go throughout my day and I will see you guys later. Hey guys, I had time for a quick little update. So it is now, actually, what time is it? It is almost two o'clock. So I put this foundation on around 10 in the morning and then I filmed the intro probably around like 1130. And now we're at two o'clock. So it's been a good amount of time. So you guys can see what the foundation looks on my skin right now. Again, still hasn't changed in the slightest. Like it looks absolutely flawless yet. You can see all the rest of my makeup is still in place. Nothing has slipped around. Nothing has budged. It looks absolutely flawless. And it's been a crazy day so far. So if you guys follow me on, what was I talking about this on? I guess it was, well, I posted a picture on Instagram and I was talking about it on Snapchat. And I actually, we did a vlog as well because we were supposed to be getting a little cute little kitty this weekend actually. And I just got a phone call from the guy, the breeder. And he just told me that the little kitty was actually, like just had the vet appointment today, like his final vet appointment. And the kitty has a heart murmur. So he can't, you know, sell me and give me that kitten because there could be potential problems problems down the long run and I'm so disappointed my kids are gonna be so sad like all day they've been like we get the kitty soon we get the kitty soon and I'm so disappointed and I feel bad for that kitty like I hope it's gonna be okay but now we have to wait for I think they said October 19th which is actually my oldest son's birthday is when the next litter is gonna be ready and then I'll be able to get my little boy kitty from that litter. So we have to wait now until October 19th to get him and I'm so sad. But speaking of vlogs, if you do not follow our vlog channel, I will link it down below for you guys. It's our second channel. It's kind of like a family, you know, little vlog channel. I will link it down below. It's called The Premiere Life, kind of a little spin-off of Premiere Look, but I will link it down below. We did a whole like Pet Smart vlog where we went and we picked up like all this stuff for the little kitty and now we just have to wait a little bit longer, but I will link that vlog channel down below and actually you guys will see my LA vlog. Brian just edited and put up our LA vlog where we got to meet Vicki Gumbelson and hang out with her and go to dinner. I had a bunch of events I went to so we did a whole LA vlog and that will be on that channel as well if you want to see that. So 
yeah, pretty much has been just that kind of day so far. So anyway, this is the foundation for what, two o'clock, like I said, and it looks really, really good yet. So I will check back in with you guys one more time before I go to bed, before I wash off my makeup. Who am I kidding? Before I go to bed. I wash my makeup off like as soon as I'm done with dinner because I love skincare at night. I just want to be clean. I want to feel fresh. I want to get my skin all plumped. It's like my favorite part of the night is like my skincare routine. So I'm not going to be like washing my face right before bed. I literally wash my face like right after dinner, sometimes before. So I will see you guys then for the one last checkup. But yeah, so far, so good. Okay, guys, we are back for our last check in here. What the heck time is it? It is 4.45. So almost five o'clock. I decided to do my check-in before I make dinner because I'm going to cook. I have to make dinner and then we are actually getting together with some of our neighbors. So it's kind of going to be a busy night and I have to start editing this video now because it's going up. When you see this, it's going to be the following day. Like today's Tuesday. This is going up on Wednesday. So I need to get this editing started now before we go to our neighbors. So I have to do the check-in now. But like I said, I put this foundation on around 10 a.m. this morning, like a little bit before 10 a.m. And now it is just about five o'clock. So that's a good seven hours of foundation wear. And I have not touched up in the slightest today. You can see my makeup still looks absolutely flawless. You can see I am not oily. I am not like sliding, gross feeling, anything. I have a tiny little bit of shine right along the sides of my nose. Like if you can see that, just a little bit of shine on the sides of my nose. I will zoom in in a second too to show you up close. But you can see that is like nothing. I have not touched up a single time today. The only thing I did was I changed my lipstick color after I ate and I ate a cucumber sandwich. And oh my God, I'm like addicted to those right now. By the way, that's gonna be like in my favorites is a cucumber sandwich, I'm addicted. Anyway, that's what I had for lunch. And then I changed my lipstick color because I was in the mood. I wasn't feeling the one earlier. So I just changed it. That's the only thing I did makeup wise. Everything else is completely untouched and it still looks absolutely flawless. Like I can never get over that. Like your makeup, honestly, it's like it gets better as the day goes on with this foundation. So let me zoom in real quick. I'll show you guys a quick like up close look at it and we'll just kind of look at it closely together and then you guys can see for yourself. Okay, we are up close now. Do you see how my makeup is just a little bit shiny in the T-zone area? That's the only place that I'm noticing really any shine other than when I put like my highlighter on, obviously like cheekbones and stuff. But other than that, I mean, it looks so good, so perfect yet, makes your skin look flawless. I can't get over it. I absolutely love it. All right, so that pretty much wraps it up for this foundation review on the new Sicily Anti-Aging Foundation. Now it's time for you to decide if you think it's worth $170 or not. Of course, there's gonna be different opinions on this. Some people are gonna think it's worth it. Other people are gonna be like, heck no, I'm not paying $170 for foundation. And that's completely fine. Everybody has a different opinion. Everybody wants something different out of their makeup. And that's what life's all about. We are all different. So hope this is gave you guys a better idea of what you think you know is worth it and what's not but for me I really love this foundation I really love it I really enjoy it and I also love the fact that there is good ingredients for my skin in here the peptides the antioxidants the plumping and hydrating factors I just really appreciate that in my foundation again because foundation is what is covering my face all day long I want it to be beneficial to my skin versus all the foundations out there that are doing absolutely nothing for my skin that is just me personally Personally, I am a skincare junkie. You guys know that. I love everything to do about skincare. I love ingredients. That is just my thing. So for me, this is a winner. This is a thumbs up. I definitely, definitely love it. And if you are on the fence about this, if you are looking at this but weren't sure because of the crazy high price tag, well, I hope this gave you a better idea on whether or not you want to spend your money on it. If it's something you're interested in, then I hope it helped you out. So thank you guys all so much for hanging out today. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. It just helps my channel out so much and I greatly appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel. The subscribe link is right down below and I will see you guys on Friday. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you then. Bye.